1800s. <clears throat> she was in her 20s, but she didn't know why she was down here. This is how I did find out her name, like I told you. I said, I'll be back tomorrow, but we got to go now. So I'll see you in the morning. And on the film, it showed her they hadn't released this yet. But she didn't walk in front of me or behind me. She walked right through me. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody had ice water pouring over me at the same time. That's when I heard that female voice, Abigail. So when I was watching, once she got out on my left side, I said, wait just a minute. Is your name Abigail? And my device went off two times for yes. So I know her name. Mm -hmm. uh, I said, okay, i see you in the morning. Every morning I come down this cave, I get here early before we open up. Because I walk through to make sure there's no trash on the floor. And I have yet to break my promise to her. As soon as I walked to that spot right there, I said, good morning, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I can feel that cold chill go right through me. Mm -hmm. And I know that's her. Now, I told her one day, I said, I come in here, I bought me a long stem rose from Win dixon that morning. <laughs> and I came in, I said, now, honey, this is a token of my friendship. Now, if you accept my friendship, if you would, would you please either move it or take it with you? If you can do that for me. And I put it around this corner back here. And I put it where there's a bunch of mud. I'm part of Indian. I know all about animals. So mm -hmm. I put it in front of that mud in case the animal got it. You can see the footprint. Mm -hmm. Two tours later, I came in here and checked that spot. The rose was gone. That next Saturday, as we came in, I asked her off the bat, did you get my rose? And my device went off two times. Yeah. So she is my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They left this right here in the middle of the floor. We don't know why. We named it. Yeah. It's called our hanging chandelier. Now, you can't walk on either side, but right behind it takes a right turn. The ceiling will drop again. Please be careful right there. There is a pretty good-sized puddle in that next room. I will keep my flashlight on so you can see it, and you'll get your feet wet. So do be careful around the corner. should have access to it, and if that's the case. Well, there's, there's a month and a half that we've had geology classes from Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Oh, okay. And I used to pick a certain time, mm -hmm. and we open up the gates to let them come in. Mm -hmm. What they're doing is they are photographing everything. Uh, see if they find new stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, the things they've already found, they got them photographed, logged in. They got a flag with a number on it. They measure from the wall to that spot, from mm -hmm. the ceiling to that spot. Every year they check it to see if the floor had shifted. Mm -hmm. That's all they're doing. Oh, okay. Plus, they will find new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It don't flood as much as this one does. Mm -hmm. That's why we can still see some of the places where campfires was. Right. The, the artifacts. The yeah. Because that was done with charcoal. Mm -hmm. Those are about gone by mm -hmm. because of water coming through. But it's still there. That's cool. Well, guys, I do hate to tell you, it's called the exit room. <laughs> now, this ceiling behind me, it is lower than that door. Y'all, so please be careful right there. As you're going up the walkway on your left, there will be two ledges hanging over with an angle to it. Please watch out for those two. Now, I'd like to thank you very much for coming out here and seeing us today. I do hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry we didn't get to see a bat. That's just a lucky draw sometimes out here. But wherever you're going to go from here, guys, y'all do drive very careful, okay? Because we would love y'all to come back here and see us again. And again. I go straight from south of Dallas, straight here. Wow. We left at about 8 o'clock last night. Wow. Really? Yeah. I have a memorial to go to in Ocala, so oh, this okay. is going to be our first stop. I got some friends in Dallas. Do you? Yeah. Because I lived in Fort Worth for a little while. Oh, okay. That's yeah. where I got my That's dinosaur right. fossil. I actually live in Ennis, which is the okay. Blue Bonnet City of the state. Yeah. yeah. Well, I found my dinosaur fossils in... Uh, uh, Waxahachie? 
No. No. Uh, not Spring Cobra. There is a big well, park well, out there. there. Glen Rose. There you go. Glen Rose. Rose. That's a state dinosaur yeah. park. Yeah. I even walked with footsteps of the dinosaur oh, along really? the side of the creek. That was neat. That's cool. Mm. But guys, thank you very much. Y'all have a great thank day. You. Thank you. Please watch yourself going out. Yeah. Thank you. All. Thank you. Good job, man. Cool, thank you. This coolest spot in the whole cave. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Light. What? We survived. <laughs>